As far as the red team is concerned, we really think this is a technology that could absolutely benefit the Central Texas area. Three, two, one. Gene was uh, operating out here in Wimberley and he was able to show just exactly what this type of technology can do during an emergency response. One of the reasons that we're here today is to, what we say, take the scary out of the UAVs because I know a lot of people myself included, you, know, you, you fear that eye right outside your window. That's not what we want to do. We'll be very mission specific. We want to solve a problem. If there's an emergency, we will address the emergency and that's where our focus will be. So we don't, you know, we're not about peering into windows and black helicopter things. That's not, that's not what our point is. Our point is to try to mitigate an emergency, um, glean more information from the scene and answer questions. Hey, look, this is what we're doing. If you have a question, ask. We're going to tell you up front what it is that we're doing. Um, we're trying to work out all of the kinks, and uh, that's why we're at the point in our uh, research and development that we currently are at. We could move a lot faster, but uh, we won't do that at the expense of, of safety and communicating with our stakeholders. We're absolutely in a research phase, finding out, trying to look around and, and see what our options are. That's why we've worked with uh, Gene Robinson during these floods to find out how he uses his apparatus, how he uses the spectra and his fixed wing to, uh, to take those pictures, find out um, if that's a, a resource that the Austin Fire Department might be able to take advantage of. Mm -hmm.